Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome to episode 17 of the Barcelona FIFA 20 career mode series. This one is a little bit shorter, as you can see uh, by the length of the video, but also just there to mention, Rakitic is sold now. Uh, yeah, just in terms of the games we have, the structure, we actually got drawn against Real Madrid in the semi-finals. So that would have been the third game of the episode, but I want the hype for it. So that's going to be the first game of the next episode, and we'll do three games in the next episode. Uh, you know how those generally go. So next one should be pretty big. We'll play both legs of the Real Madrid semi-final in the Champions League. So... First up, this episode is still equally as important. The second game is going to be against Atletico Madrid. You know they are top of the league. So we need to make sure we get the result here. We don't. We can't let our guard down. We can't be letting our guard down here. Uh, you can see going in with a really, really strong side, making sure we can get the job done. Of course, missing Dembele, but Suarez starting, Griezmann out on the left. It still looks like a very very strong lineup so let's get into it right now hopefully we can score about 23 minutes in can we create an opportunity Pogba oh look at the space opening love when that happens and a lot of the time well it is that is out of your control out of my control right there you pass it around and you hope your players can make some smart runs and that's how that goal came about you just keep passing passing and something will open up for you like, take a look at this that run right there. Thank you. <laughs> You're like, thank you, CPU, for making our player make a good run. And that occasion, yeah, Artur did very, very neatly. And, yeah, he's been a very good player uh, this season. And he's only progressing in terms of his abilities. So, yeah, he's one of the exciting players in the team to develop even more. And he's still one of the, the best players in the first team. We could have a second opportunity on now. Suarez plays it into Griezmann. Griezmann, you know what he's done this season. He has to finish this and we finish it right there as expected. Actually, how good has he been though? He's been amazing. When Suarez was missing out, he stepped up and he just they're continuing to work together really now. Suarez, he... He's playing as the striker, but then Griezmann is still feeling like the main man. That's his 21st goal in the La Liga. We wanted to try and score the most league goals. That would be a very good achievement for him to be proud of. So it's 2-0 now. There's, a, there's like 30 minutes left. There's still a lot to go in this game. Could we score another? It's De Jong. He has to finish now. You're not going to miss that, lad. You're not going to miss that. Just aimed across the keeper. Put... A bit of power, not too much, but enough where it's going to be really hard to save. And De Jong, Frankie De Jong, he is. He is a very, another impressive talent. That's why when I like to do my career modes, to be fair, what you see on the channel, you see a lot of big teams. I've done Man United, now Barca. It's, I like teams that are seen as a big club, but where you can build them up even more. You see Barcelona, so many good players, but then the amount of young talents they have as well. Uh, Fatih, like Fatih, he's he's another one, and he's played quite a bit for his age, uh, considering his age. And then Ruiz, we're in a good position right now, a good position for for this game. So I feel we can make our substitutions uh, more. I suppose the ones up top a bit more inexperienced can allow that. Ruiz has had a pretty good season. I know earlier in the series people were saying he hasn't been playing in real life too much, so. He's probably not seen as a high potential player, but he is in FIFA. So I still want to utilize him as it's important for the career mode itself. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just in the career mode, he's one of the most promising talents. So uh, yeah, especially in terms of as a striker. As a striker, we don't really have many other options at his age. So right now, we're just looking to play this out. Not as conventional, but in the end, it was 3-0. In, uh, had a very strong performance, as expected, though, as expected uh, against Salta, uh, we should be winning. We had a little bit more possession. Uh, again, it's the same case, as I mentioned a few times, that uh, the CPU do do hold on to possession a lot. Like, almost every team tries to play well, maybe, funnily enough, in a Barcelona kind of style. But how about that? Luis Suarez got two assists, man. I did get a comment in the previous episode saying about, like, we should let those older players retire. Like, if you think we will get their regions... Imagine that. That makes you th rethink it in your mind just there. Imagine if you keep them on and the regens like come through Barca's academy and maybe we could, even though if they may not have the same name, we could treat them like being their sons because it's actually a regenerated version of that specific player. It'd be cool if you could rename players in career mode. It's another thing you can do in Football Manager. But yeah, anyway, 
anyway, another just quick training session there. We simulate yeah, to Stegen. Like, he's like straightforward goalkeeper selection for us. Very good quality. Uh, we've got a couple of youth goalkeepers in the youth squad, uh, high potential, but they're going to be, they're going to take a while to get to his level. So not in a real danger, but this is the game of the episode, guys. As I said, these next couple I want, yeah, the big focus. So this one individually is very, very important against Atletico Madrid, even from them to us. They could see if they beat us, phew, they probably knock us out completely of the title race for sure. And we want to get, I say get back in, but look at, yeah, we, if we get the three points here, guys, imagine the end of the season. I mean, we are very close to the end of the season. You know, we want to make sure we stay on top of Real Madrid. So equally still just treat this as a normal three points we want to get in the league yeah, in case Real Madrid do as well and push ahead of us. So we've got to make sure our selection is right. But we do have some players that's a bit tired, guys. So I'm going to rotate. It is a little bit of a big game. I mean, a little bit, yeah. Arguably, at this point in the season, is probably the most important game. That is that is for sure. But we are. I didn't want someone who is not 100% conditioned, or at least close to a seat. Um, Titi, I feel if the game goes on, that condition is going to go lower. And I want to bring on Tadebo. He's 100%, and he's been pretty solid when I've used him. He's been okay. Long lay, we'll leave in there. But Alba, yeah, it's the same point. I want, I want the fresh legs. I don't want someone who's going to be lacking. I don't want someone who's going to be lacking. you got Pogba in there, but Pogba's okay. Pogba's a beast in midfield. Just on that last line of defense, we don't, someone who's gonna, we don't want someone who's going to be slacking with their pace. And you can see right here, I thought we were trying to catch him offside there. Not quite. Not quite. Now they get all the space. Oh, we get lucky there, so we try and pass it to our player. But of course, it's going to go to the opposition player for a goal, man. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. That's super frustrating, I'll tell you what. Koke goes on to score. That could have been a countering opportunity for it. Look at this. Look, I aimed to my player there, but they read it. I guess I guess they did just read that play really, really well. As disappointing as it is. So now on the frustration on, on, on the attack, we're trying to get a goal back. They block Messi very, very well. We had one of our players go down randomly. I tell you what. Yeah, like in these games, important games, weird things happen. Weird things happen, man. It's so crazy. And we had a little bit of a chance there. Couldn't break them down. So now, yeah, in the second half, we need at least a goal to get an equalizer. Just to get an equalizer. Can we get the now? Artur, let's hit him on the counter. This is how we've been so strong this season. With our attacking players out wide. Leo Messi. Leo Messi. He's going to use his pace to get past the man. Could he set this up? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. It's going to be a finish by Luis Suarez there. Neat finish, neat finish, nothing to shout out about, but the key thing by him there was being in the good attacking positioning. That was the attacking positioning. So that was, that was really good. That was really good by him. It was more so that poacher, that poacher, the poacher instinct that Luis Suarez had. And they were like reviewing that. I'm like, mate, it's like, <laughs> it wasn't that uh, kind of a crazy goal to yeah, see the replay. So now we're going to be on the lookout for something else. Another goal. and <laughs> Something else. Another goal. We are something more. We want to get a winner. We want to get a winner in this game today. So they spray it out wide. Atletico Madrid is the same. That's why this game is so huge today. So important. Barca v Atletico Madrid. Pogba with the interception. Keep on going. Ooh. Maybe could have kept running. But I chose to pass. So I can't complain too much. But oh, look at that ball. Once more they block it. But can we get it through now? It's Fabian. Can he shoot? Shoot! Oh, no, it ended up being a lot. I think I just pressed it wrong there, man. I don't know why I ended up doing a lob. Oh, that was crazy. Well, I'll tell you how, how tired I was, man. It's not over, though. It's not over. We could still have a final chance. There's Junior Furpo. Ah, but the pass is just off once more. That is really, really disappointing. So, Sol now... They're trying to go on the attack. We're making sure, making sure we don't concede here. But at the same time, we're trying to win the ball back because we know when it gets to this time, we're not going to have time now. We're going to try and clear it, try and win a header, and we can't. You never can, guys. You know how it is this late. It always feels the CPU has got some leverage. And for me, that's just my experience. Do you ever feel it's harder to have possession when it's hit the 90th minute, like injury time? So, like more often than not more than 50% of the time the CPU will have the chance until the game's going to be over like that so no doubt there was a bit of frustration there the Barca fans 
yeah, maybe, maybe not happy with that performance and result in the end, but for the season the league overall we beat we beat atletico madrid away from home so we avoided them beating us so i think like however we finish this season it's not because how we performed against atletico madrid exactly uh we got a winning result i mean we're unbeaten uh, we beat them once and then we draw their uh, that game as well could have gone either way so atletico madrid outside of yeah our games against them has been really really amazing this season they duly uh, deserved <laughs> their position in the league we had a few draws maybe similar results like this one today against other teams though that may be where we shouldn't have conceded a goal or we could have finished another chance we've mentioned it throughout the season haven't we are saying we're on an unbeaten streak uh, i don't know how long it's been at this point but they don't say it they're just like oh you're unbeaten <laughs> until you go in the news and then it'll say how long you've been unbeaten for so i'm still happy we maintain that I'm happy with how many games we've avoided defeat in the league this season. I think that's something to be impressed by for ourselves. But then, as I said, we've got, yeah, Real Madrid. <laughs> oh, the semi-final. It's going to make it big for the next episode. As you can see, we maintain our unbeaten run there. It is something It is something to be happy about. But we didn't get inf any information about it there. So, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, that's going to be on the back of our focus, the league, a little bit. Because, well, I want to go all the way. Like, if we can go all the way to win the Champions League, that will be something to have to our name this season. And if we don't win the league, which it might be hard now, to be fair, because we couldn't get that win. But that's the way it played out against uh, the best team in the league this season, I guess. So, yeah, now we're just taking a look at some of the... The scouted players, there's one guy, Oscar Hara there. We're going to leave him a bit more and hopefully get a good update in the following months. So we'll have to continue a little bit, but also also a training session we have got now. But there's something I'm going to do. I notice Ruiz, he's only on that silver. He's got that silver, so I know that does not grow as much. And I've seen a couple comments. I remember one at least, and I'm sure other people would have, <laughs> uh, or you might be at least thinking it. You might as well, yeah, you might as well do it on the hardest so he gets the best growth, gets the best growth as possible, and hopefully just <laughs> gets good ratings for that as well. So now we are just continuing for a bit of build up so you guys know what's coming next. Make sure you guys do leave a like on the video, and as I said, this one's a little bit shorter just for the fact of it'll be a bit of a weird feeling if we just played it as the yeah the, the like the third game of the episode then you're waiting for the next result but instead next episode you're going to be coming we're going to play both legs and we'll see if we'll be getting into the finals that's going to be huge make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on the video if you want to see more of this i'll see you guys in the very next one